is going. Yeah. Fancy. So this is usually my desk where I work from. You know, typically we just go to coffee shops, but when we're not at a coffee shop, we're at this little three foot desk. Um, just to talk about the newer things that we're doing, we are working on a new upgrade of a program called Idle Planner. I signed up, but it's kind of hard. It's a learning curve, so I'll keep you posted on if I'm into it or not. To talk more about how I utilize Gmail, I have this wonderful feature called Boomerang through Gmail, which allows you to multitask and essentially send away tasks that you don't want to deal with at the moment. So right now, if you look at my inbox, I only have three emails. That doesn't mean I only have three, email, three emails to answer. What this actually means is that I sent away emails to later get boomeranged back to my inbox when I want to deal with it. So I know tomorrow I have more time, that's when the emails will come back to me and that's when I'll do those emails. Any intruders come, give them your fart cloud of death. Bye, Stitch. So we have one of three cars half the time. This is the Lexus that we drove from Canada all the way over here because it was his brother's car. So enjoy the ride. The next place we're going to, which is Blue Lane Coffee, I suggested. Best coffee. Even though Sunny thinks, Sunny's my husband, Sunny thinks I'm crazy. He says I'm only in love with their branding. Did you put lavender on? That smells really good. What is that? It's, it's an essential oil called Chill. Stress relief. Yes. So I do <laughs> many things to relieve stress. One of which is the use of essential oils. How many cups of coffee do you have a day? I'm trying not to do more than one a day. I start my day with a French press, just like Jasmine Starr. <laughs> if you guys know who she is, follow her. I do my French press coffee and conversations with, with her. <laughs> I'm trying to do less, if not, like, I don't, I'm trying to sub it out for tea. Hey, somebody's a unicorn. Beauty. If I could just dress like that on the regular. That'd be nice, right? That would be a lot of fun. A onesie. Yeah. Every day is a little different, but today is what I call meet and greet or vendor day. Um, I try and squeeze in a certain amount of time for emails things like that but then when vendors ask to meet with me I try my best to squeeze it in one day and it's a really good opportunity to rekindle connections that maybe we've lost over the years or just like meet up because we're friends now um, a lot of times I just want to see what they're up to what see what new inventory they have I mean like I need to know what's in guys so with that said, we're going to meet with Ariel of La Tabla Linen and uh, she's going to talk to us about textiles, what they're up to, and maybe you can get a little inside scoop to see what that's usually like. And then from there, we're going to go to um, Edge Design to meet with Cindy and also Nicole of the Bloomist, the florist that I worked with for California Wedding Day. She'll be there too. So we're meeting three vendors today, guys. That's kind of cool. So enjoy the tour. <laughs> so this is Vanessa. She's going to be following me around today. Mm -hmm. I look so much taller than you right now. <laughs> wearing heels. I know, I cheated. <laughs> oh yeah, this is an orange set. I like the natural collection. I'm just not hungry right now. We are at Edge Design Decor in the heart of Los Angeles. Cindy is my rep. We're going to meet with her. We're going to meet with Nicole of the Bloomist, and she's parking. So ultimately, we're just going to learn, see pretty things, see behind the scenes of what actually puts a wedding together. what I wanted you to see like you know mm -hmm. just all of the great you yeah. know spaces and just the different looks and yeah really what we can do that you don't really get or mm -hmm. grasp or visualize 
on an e- on a website. Yeah, totally. You know? And then the caliber of like the, the dimensions. Yeah. Like, you know, most of the time you see it pretty low. But like if you look at that draping, it looks like a, a picture. It does. It looks. It looks fake, and it's one actually, dimensional. But when you touch it. But it's actually the actual draping. <laughs> I know. Wait, I gotta take a little boomerang of you doing that. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> We're here at Edge Design and Decor with Nicole of the Bloomers to talk a little bit about what Edge Design and Decor does, also what Nicole does. We have a client together, um, Jessica and Brian. She brought in a sample arrangement and we're here at the showroom. So Jessica and Brian's inspiration is really summer tones, a little punchy, lots of texture and some funkiness. It's not meant to be heavy, it's meant to be happy. And so um, we knew we wanted a bar piece, but seeing the size yeah. of the bar, I'm thinking our mock piece should really be bigger. We can add some other elements. So. Like candles. And exactly. Well, we're, we're gonna fill up the bar anyways with some cool glassware. Yeah. Um, signage and whatnot, like we're gonna flank the yeah. bar, but definitely yeah. open to your ideas on to definitely what, what should change. Definitely what a statement piece for the bar. So if we were to use, say, one of their cool wooden backdrops, what would you suggest on, on a piece like this, if we were to bring that up? I would love to do some climbing greenery across it, something okay. like that. You could tuck in some blooms as well. Um, but having like a, a installation coming up the side and like growing across in yeah. an organic way would be really fun. All right, yeah, let's put that in the invoice and see where it goes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. My role really is to build the business, mm-hmm. make it a household name. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely do the sales, branding, and marketing, and at the same time build the partnerships because it really takes a village. But that way, he wanted everyone to see like. Oh, honey, it's so great yeah. to see you. <laughs> that is it for today in terms of meetings. We're gonna go take about a 30-minute ride back to my home office, and from there, I'll do a few hours of computer time, so I can keep on top of my email influx. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining for a day in the life. Thanks for joining us for our first episode of A Day in the Life. If you liked what you saw, let us know by hitting that thumbs up or subscribe button or leave us a comment. If there's anything specific you'd like to see from us in the future, let us know too. See ya!